Hi, I'm Ed Phillips. I'm the Vice Chair of Surgery at Cedar sinai Medical Center and the Chair of the Division of General Surgery. Today we're going to be performing a posterior approach laparoscopic bilateral adrenalectomy. The patient's a 55-year-old woman who had a neuroendocrine tumor uh, at the tail of her pancreas and underwent a distal pancreatectomy two years ago. She subsequently had a recurrence with some oligometastatic disease in her liver and underwent a partial hepatectomy, a distal pancreatectomy again, and a splenectomy at that time. Now she has much more diffuse metastatic disease that is producing ACTH, which has caused Cushing's syndrome, which has made her difficult to manage with her very low potassium in the two level, and also hypertension that has been difficult to control. Because of her prior surgeries, we attempt to approach it posteriorly. We expect on the right side to have a little bit of adhesion of the liver because of the hepatectomy, and on the left side, we anticipate that the splenic flexure of the colon uh, will be uh, adherent to the anterior surface of the adrenal gland as well. So let's see how it goes today. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's move into position to roll her over now. We want to kind of move her toward the bed first. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you could actually lower the foot just a little bit more, just so it's semi-level. Okay, we'll wrap the arms and we're good to go. So you want to go up to you, so you want a five, five zero or ten zero? Ten, ten, uh, ten zero for the entrance. rib, the anterior like crest, so generally a five here, probably a five here, and then the bigger here. No room for four. I wish we could. We're doing a 10. Okay. 